And how are you planning to create tension that goes in a minute, minute and a half? interesting because it's the first time it, it's happened that I can remember that actually students have used a cut scene from a video game as inspiration for a film. Are you, are you aware that, that that line between video game and Hollywood, it, it, for a generic term, um, is, is blurring that actually it, 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 it clearly seemed to you guys, I guess, uh, a reasonable thing to look at a video game for inspiration? Well, the game itself is quite film-esque, I guess you could say, because it's episode-based. So each like chapter is another episode, and it's kind of like a TV series, but um, each cutscene is quite cinematic. Plus, like loads of um, video games have been made into films, like Far Cry and stuff like that. So it's slightly different, but it should be a problem to get inspiration from. How are you gonna? Be, how are you gonna like, do the filming outside the woods? Because you've got to have the light and the dark aspect, and if you're willing to add light to speak, then it's going to be all dark, so you're going to have a bit of lighting. Um, you got, you got lights. <laughs> um, <laughs> rituals, torches, candles, yeah. quite satanic looking. So, it's quite, it, it works. I think the other point, just, just to explain something, is you can do what's called day for night filming. So you film it during the day, and then you colour correct it with digital filters, um, so that it looks a lot darker. Um, so there, there is a way creatively to get around, or technically, to get around that. Any other questions? Excellent, thank you very much. That's our room! Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to sit that.